Hello, my name is Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author and the creator of Robo Horse, and we're now on to chapter 47 in the voice of Clara. When the adults had gone, Robo Horse powered up and Roman and I both hugged him. Whoa, dudes, that feels good. We thought we'd lost you, Roman said. So glad we didn't, I added. So am I, dudes, said Robo Horse laughing. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Roman asked. I'm a bit tired and a lot hungry, he said, as Roman put the metal in front of him. And Robo ate that while we ate our sandwiches. Roman. I know who did it to you, Robo Horse, the Pond Street Pony Club gang, and I'm going to get them back somehow. I've already told them that, I said. Whoa, dude, it wasn't them. It was an adult, maybe a couple of them. They hit me before I could get a look or recording of them. But it was definitely an adult. Robo Horse. Humans are so illogical, they put two and two together and make a lot more. I really like Roman, but what a silly thing to do. I could see by his reaction what an effort the information was having on him. I'm such an idiot. Why didn't I think before I acted? He said. Clara tried to help him feeling better by saying, You were upset. You thought Robo Horse had been killed. I said, Whoa, oh, dude. You need to go and apologise. Quicker you do it, easier it'll be. Roman nodded. Do you want me to come with you? Clara asked. Nope. My mess. I caused it. I need to sort it out. See you back at school, Roman said. Roman. I left Clara and Robo Horse and headed off to school on my own. I needed to see as many of the Pond Street Pony Club people in the schoolyard as possible before lessons started. It wasn't an easy thing to do to admit my mistake and apologise but I knew the quicker I did it, the easier it would be and the less damage caused to them. The fact that my mum always taught me that wrongly accusing someone is one of the worst things you could do wasn't helping. I saw the girl and boy and Tolly and a few of the others, including a girl called Connie, who was kind of like their leader. I called out and walked up to them. They were a bit wary of me and didn't want to come too close. I didn't blame them after the way I was earlier in the morning, but at least they listened and I told them what had happened and said sorry. I didn't know quite what to expect, whether they would have a go at me and want to fight me or what. In the end, Connie stepped forward and said, It needs more than just sorry. The others nodded. I reckon you should muck out the stables every day after school for at least a week, starting tomorrow. All the others clapped and cheered on hearing this. When they stopped, I gave my agreement to the punishment. It was only fair.